Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again Pop Reviews. This is not your typical pop review today because today we're going to be taking a look at the Metals Diecast Marvel Spider Man Classic Spider Man. I'm your host, Shannon, and stay tuned. So, hey guys, welcome to Come Again. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies and milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. As I said before, this is not your typical pop review. It's not even a Funko review. This is the Metal's Diecast Marvel Spider-Man Classic Spider-Man from GameStop. I'm filming this the Saturday before Easter. Just a few days ago, we were at Walmart. GameStop is right next door. I decided to go in there and browse, only I wasn't planning on buying any. But immediately I saw one that's been on my list forever they only had one left of them i had to have them that was space ghost so i went ahead and let my kids pick out their easter gifts uh, they aren't getting them until easter morning though so that gives me a chance to review them beforehand <laughs> so duke picked out the morphing exclusive blue ranger ally picked out Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, and Marissa picked out this Marvel Spider-Man. So let's go ahead and take a look. You got Spider-Man here on the front. Marvel Spider-Man, classic Spider-Man, metals diecast. It was $12.99 at GameStop. Uh, get 20 points per dollar spent. Metal figure. Got Spider-Man on the side. Classic Spider-Man, metals diecast, Marvel. Uh, this is from Jada Toys. Collect them all. Uh, you got M252 4 inch Miles Morales Spider Man, M253 4 inch Black Suit Spider Man, M254 4 inch Venom, M255 4 inch Spider Gwen, M250 Classic Spider Man, M256 6 inch ultimate spider-man so let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look inside and i think for this i will invite my daughter marissa in here to help me review this since spider-man is her favorite superhero all right guys so if you're not familiar with the metals die cast it does come taped on three sides so i did go ahead and cut the tape let's open this guy up A little bit different than a Funko. Man, they really got it in there tight. Jeebus. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut this off. Thank you. There we go. All right. So I guess you do have to cut that. And that's the background there. Go ahead and close that up. All right. Jeez. They don't want you taking this guy out. <laughs> oh. He does have a little plastic twisty tie here. Sheesh. <laughs> you just had to pick out the hardest one, huh? <laughs> yep. You could use scissors. No. 
There we go. There we go. Pretty heavy figure too. They do not want you taking this guy out of the package apparently. <laughs> not very much like Funko Pop at all. Um, okay. It does look like it's not a single mold. It's put together. You know, you got the seam here. You got a seam here. You got a seam at the head. No head movement at all. Um, but you got nice little muscle tone. You got the spider webs, the spider hanging down on his chest. Spider on the back. Nice paint job. Very thorough. Almost, uh, no paint bleeding at all. The uh, spider webs are actually molded into the, uh, I want to say sculpt, but it's not a sculpt since it's die cast metal, it's a mold. Um, you got the uh, thick eyes here. What do you think, Marissa? He's awesome. Very shiny. Marissa's not being too talkative today. His head looks kind of like an egg. Uh, you got on the bottom, you got CE, you got, you know, all his information. Marvel, Made in China, Spider-Man. Um, not really a whole lot to say about him. You got typical. Uh, there is a little bit of paint bleeding along here. Um, but it appears that all the uh, lines are actually molded into them. Um every bit of the spider web line is part of the mold it's not just paint um very nice job on the hands like i said you can kind of wiggle the arm a little bit but it's probably just a uh, defect or whatever and there's a little um circle in the back of his head so. yeah kind of looks like you push it, but I don't yeah. think it really does anything. No. It's just a statue type deal. Um, but really not bad. You got him in his superhero landing pose. As Deadpool would say. <laughs> um, what do you like about Spider-Man? What do you like about this Spider-Man? I like that he's like in his combat mode. Like he's ready to fight. And he, he's a very heavy figure, he, um, probably about same weight as maybe four Funkos because he's made out of very, very solid metal. He's not, no part of him is really, um, he's not hollow at all. It, it's a solid mold. Um, it looks like they molded his face separately and then attached it to the rest of the head. You see a seam right there. And then they attach they attach it to the head and then they attach the head to the body, attach the arms to the body. It does appear that the body and legs are one solid mold. Um there is the paint job here doesn't look that great. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Nice solid, nice bright solid colors. Very nice. Once again, that was the Metals Diecast Marvel Spider Man Classic Spider Man M250 4 inch diecast metal figure from Jada Toys.
course. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.